Now, on Good Morning Northwest, we are seeing the incredible damage left behind by Hurricane Ian. And days after it hit, people are still stranded waiting for help. It is the first week of October. It's going to feel more like <laughs> summer. We're going to show you what to expect from these sunny conditions coming up. And it's the road construction project that just seems to go on on what we know about the Thor Freya Street project and why it's taking so much longer than expected. You're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. Good morning. Thanks for starting your week with us. I'm Derek Dice. And I'm Robin Nance. It is Monday, October 3rd. Did you like the weekend? Well, Mark mm -hmm. says the week ahead looks incredible. Here's your first alert forecast. Oh, it's going to be great. So first of all, we're waking up to a, a cool but not cold morning, a little chillier in Coeur d'Alene at 46 degrees. We're sitting at uh, now 52, was 54. We'll continue to cool down to around 50 and then we'll warm back up again. So we look at the four things that you need to know. Uh, sunny and warm, that's really going to be each and every day this week. Mild nighttime temperatures again into the low 50s. Very dry this week. And then we're going to talk about a sunny and mild weekend with that extended outlook. It looks great. Um, today, upper 70s, uh, that's going to be from Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, St. Mary's, Pullman, Ritzville at 81 degrees. Plenty of sunshine. So by 11 o'clock, we're going to be hanging in there into, well, the mid-60s, mid-morning. Uh, into the noon hour, you're going to be in the low 70s. By 3 o'clock, 77. 4 and 5 o'clock, expecting 78. That is our high today. But even at 7 with the sun setting, we're still in the low 70s. Well, this morning, the number of people killed by Hurricane Ian is rising. Almost all of the victims were in Florida, where rescue and recovery operations are still underway, and neighbors are already pledging to rebuild. Sydney Charles is live at the Now Desk with what we're learning about the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. That's right, Robin. So Florida says it's making progress this morning, conducting thousands of evacuations and restoring power back to millions. But there are still areas in the state completely cut off from help by the storm and entire communities that are gone. And the number of people killed by Hurricane Ian is rising. So what do we know right now? So far, at least 85 people in Florida and North Carolina were killed by the powerful storm, with Florida's Lee County holding the highest number of people killed. Ian is by far the deadliest in the satellite era for Florida and over 600,000 people are still without power right now according to poweroutage.us. So, new images show the storm's destructive power. Helicopters from the Coast Guard and National Guard continue to conduct rescue missions. More than 2,300 people have been rescued from the air so far, with more saved by boat from barrier islands cut off from the mainland by the storm. Floridians are now pledging to rebuild what was lost. They will need a complete rebuild. Electric grid, uh, water systems. It's going to take a lot of work, but it will come back. Some communities still don't have the basics like power or running water, and many local stores and businesses where they could have been purchased or hired services have been damaged or destroyed. There are some who face additional cleanup challenges, their homes cut off when bridges were washed away in the storm or roads were swamped. Coming up in 30 minutes, how President Biden is planning to help the recovery effort. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Sydney, thanks so much. Well, the Thor Freya construction project has been underway since March, and it's gone on longer than expected. Yeah, for drivers, it is quite the headache to get around, and local businesses say it's killing them as they adapt to try to reach their customers. The seven-phase project with 37 different traffic plans has been a challenge for the last six months, so people will just need to be patient a little longer. The city says the first half of the project took longer than expected due to the rainy spring. They say it's also a longer project in general because construction crews are using more more complex materials that take longer and depend on the weather. It's a $9 million project that is taking the entire construction season uh, and uh, it's very complex in the kind of materials we're using, but the payoff is that it will last longer and so we won't have to, uh, you know, do those minor repairs and close things down um, more often. Oh, we sure hope so. The Thor Freya exit off off, excuse me, the Thor Freya exit ramp off of I-90 is also expected to open back up once construction there is finished. Spokane County deputies arrested a man who they say shot at someone involved in a disagreement over a parking spot. It happened in this Spokane Valley apartment complex. Deputies found three rifle casings at the scene. The victim told deputies he came home to find a bunch of items in his parking spot. He moved the stuff over and parked. That's when he says a man yelled at him and then brought out a rifle and began shooting toward him. 
Nobody was hurt, and the victim apparently did not press charges. And some breaking news this morning. Two people died yesterday in a motorcycle crash on State Highway 41 in Bonner County. It happened around 4 o'clock near Blanchard. The rider, a 66-year-old man from Worley, went off the road and into a tree line, killing himself and his passenger, a 63-year-old Worley woman. The names of the victims have not yet been released, but family has been notified that crash is under investigation. This is a special morning for some well-deserving veterans in the Inland Northwest. The dozens are gearing up for a big trip to Washington, D.C. to see more of the memorials made in their honor. Esther Bauer is live at the airport this morning with Honor Flight. And Esther, this is such a big deal for these veterans. A huge deal for these veterans, for their families. Almost 100 veterans are getting ready right now for this special flight. I want to give you a live look at what we're seeing right now. So this long line that you're looking at, this is a line of, like we said, almost 100 veterans getting checked in for their flight. And I want to talk about something new happening this year, and it has to do with a furry passenger. So for the first time, Isaac the Comfort Dog will be flying alongside with the veterans. Organizers tell me on the last flight they sponsored a veteran had a flashback to the war he served in. He had to leave. He couldn't even take the flight or go to Washington, D.C. Today, that veteran is back, and Isaac the Comfort Dog will accompany him on this trip. Now, this is really about celebrating these veterans, their selfless service to our country. This flight is completely free, and it's made possible with uh, donations. You and I, people who give and sponsor this. So what we're watching this morning is in about 30 minutes, a welcome ceremony is going to take Part, is going to take place here at the airport. They're getting checked in, then they'll have a seat here with their families in these white chairs. Takeoff is at 9 this morning. These vets will have a quick trip in Washington. They'll be back tomorrow night at 7.30 in the evening here at the Spokane Airport. And this is a public event. You can be back here tomorrow to welcome them back in, thank them for how they've served, and just celebrate this honor flight. We'll be here all throughout the morning giving you a live look at the honor flight. Reporting live from the Spokane Airport, Esther Bauer, 4 News. Oh, we hope they have a great trip. Yeah, no doubt. It's now almost seven minutes after six o'clock. All right, we send things back over to Mark Pearson and that car wash forecast. It's just green light all the way, right? I, there, yeah, I mean, yes, please. <laughs> uh, temperatures around 80 degrees. Um, there are those that we're talking about. I was at a classic car show. Yeah, I got to put the cars in. I go, no, 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 no. This is perfect convertible weather and it's October. We're going to have a full check of that forecast. That's coming your way. And a consumer alert about some potentially dangerous cheese you might have in your refrigerator. We have the details after this break. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Cancer Care Northwest. Some ideas seem good, but aren't. These guys will buy our house without even seeing it. Online buyers make offers that seem attractive at first, only to lower or cancel at the last minute. We Buy Ugly Houses won't reduce or cancel our firm cash offers before closing. Call or click to sell quick. Listen up. Everything we've worked for has led to this moment. Trading is over. It's time to be efficient like the Kubota Grand L Series. It is time to grind by the Kubota LX series, which is packed with extra. It's time to be tough like the rugged BX series. So let's get out there and plow, fight, and win. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning is your family-owned and operated number one HVAC contractor in the Northwest. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning would like to introduce our own carbon reduction program. Buy a new energy-efficient furnace from Bill's Heating and receive a matching air conditioner with installation absolutely free. No hidden fees, no conditions, no exceptions. Buy a furnace, get a free AC from Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Call today for estimates and repairs. When I was told I had a brain tumor, my life disappeared in a moment. I feared for my future, but even more, I feared for the ones I love. How would they move on without me? But when my doctor told me about the Gamma Knife of Spokane, everything changed. I can get my brain tumor treated in just one day and continue living the life I love. Because of Gamma Knife, I have hope. I'm Jonah, and I'd like to welcome you to the brand new Coeur d'Alene Nissan. You'll find the grand dealership lobby open, comfortable, and relaxing. 
A service center with state-of-the-art equipment committed to getting you quickly and safely back on the road. There's much more to experience. I'm inviting you to stop in and see us. We're just off Highway 95 in Coeur d'Alene. Some ideas seem good, but aren't. Maybe these guys will buy our house. What could go wrong? Like rookie home buyers who can lower or cancel offers without notice. We Buy Ugly Houses won't reduce or cancel our firm cash offers before closing. Call or click to sell quick. All right, welcome back. Here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. Brazil's presidential election is headed to a runoff vote. A president, Jair Bolsonaro, surprised many by garnering enough votes to keep his challenger, Luis Inacio Lula de Silva, from getting a majority, triggering a second round vote on October 30th. Polling had shown Lula leading Bolsonaro by 10 to 15 percentage points ahead of Sunday's vote. So the much tighter result dashed expectations of a quick resolution. Bolsonaro united Brazil's right wing against Lula's Workers' Party to victory in 2018 and has dismantled environmental and indigenous protections while pushing an anti-gay and anti-abortion agenda. Old Europe Cheese is issuing a voluntary recall of its brie and camembert cheeses because of a potential outbreak of listeria. That's according to the FDA. Affected cheeses were sold at about a dozen major retailers in the U.S. and Mexico between August 1st and September 28th of this year, including Albertsons and Safeway. The FDA is advising consumers who may have purchased the products to throw them away and sanitize any surfaces that may have come into contact with those products. The Nobel Committee has awarded its prize for medicine to Svante Pavo for his discoveries concerning the genomes of extinct hominins and human evolution. He is credited with sequencing the first Neanderthal genome and discovering that Homo sapiens interbred with Neanderthals. Thanks to his work, scientists can compare Neanderthal genomes with the genetic records of living humans today. 10 second takeaway on this Monday morning. Uh, it's a cool start. Uh, it's going to be, again, light layers needed potentially. The hoodie is out in the morning, but gone by mid morning. Sunshine, grab your sunglasses, you'll need them. 78 are high today. Well, you're now able to use your phone to pay to get on the bus using Spokane Transit's new connected fare system. Here's how it works. You create an account on the STA Connect app where you'll have access to eConnect cards that you can load up with money using a credit or debit card. STA is also expanding its reduced and zero fare options. Anyone 60 or older and people with disabilities get a 50% discount. All right, good morning, Northwest. Time is now 612. It is a beautiful sight and an annual tradition. Coming up a little later, up, up, and away with the annual Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. And another beautiful sight as some local vets are about to take off on an honor flight trip to our nation's capital. Esther Bauer is live once again. Coming up right after the break, helping send them off. For all your residential and commercial painting needs, Everhart Painting has you covered. Everhart Painting is a family-owned business that has taken care of the Inland Northwest for over 50 years. Schedule a free estimate today. Get exactly what you want. Wendell Ford is ready to help you find that vehicle you've been wanting to buy. Built for you. F-150, Bronco, Bronco Sport, Explorer, Mach-E, and Maverick. Here's how it works. Make a list of options you want. Wendell will work with you on financing to fit your budget. And then we will order the vehicle of your dreams or select from current inventory. Get exactly what you want. Built for you. Wendell Ford at the Y. Drive for generations. People were really curious, like, do you really do this? From boy band icon to farmhouse fixer, new kids on the block star Jonathan Knight. Plus, breakfast for dinner. Next, Rachel. Watch Rachel today at 3 and 4 News Now at 5. Hi, I'm John Butler with Century 21. Welcome to beautiful Jim Shores Estate here in Hayden Lake, the most premier waterfront property for sale in North Idaho. This 8,600 square foot masterpiece is designed with the most unique furnishings from all over the world. Every piece has a history and a story to tell. When this home sells, the furniture must go. Consigned Furniture in Liberty Lake is the only company we refer our clients to. Our clients deserve the best, and Consigned Furniture delivers every time. My husband has diabetes. Even with health insurance, we're having a hard time affording our medications. Thankfully, we have Patty Murray fighting for us in the U.S. Senate. She kept at it till Congress finally lowered the cost of prescription drugs. And capped insulin for seniors at $35 a month. Now we'll save thousands every year. 
We know when Patty is back in the other Washington. She is working for us. I'm Patty Murray, and I approve this message. Create a home retreat with a beautiful hot tub or swim spa from Country Homes Power, your spa superstore. Offering great discounts, special financing, all with professional delivery. It's time to relax during the Country Homes Power 75th anniversary sale. It's time to elevate your finances. Introducing Ascend Checking, the new free checking account from P1FCU that pays you dividends. Earn 1.45% APY on balances up to $15,000. Plus, get online and mobile banking and mobile deposit with no minimum balance requirements. Level up your finances with Ascend Checking. To open your account, visit p1fcu.org slash ascend. P1FCU, a Pacific Northwest original since 1938. For all your residential and commercial painting needs, Everhart Painting has you covered. Everhart Painting is a family-owned business that has taken care of the Inland Northwest for over 50 years. Schedule a free estimate today. 4 News Now is brought to you by Cancer Care Northwest. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. It is now uh, 615. Two people are now facing charges after police in Sandpoint say they seized what they believe is fentanyl, heroin, and other dangerous drugs this week in a series, or rather last week, in a series of search warrants. Now, police say the raid was in response to two fentanyl overdoses in North Idaho involving a teen who recovered and a 21-year-old who died. This is a look at what some of police took off the streets. You're looking at what are known as blues, sometimes referred to as Skittles. Both are suspected of being forms of fentanyl. The pills commonly have the letter M stamped into uh, one side of them and the number 30 on the other. Daryl David of Bonners Ferry and Rachel Straley of Spokane were both arrested, cited, and released for meth and drug possession. Sandpoint police say more charges are likely after they get the lab test results back on the pills to confirm they are indeed fentanyl. Well, you may have noticed we're all wearing pink this morning, and it's for a very good reason. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and today we are partnering with Cancer Care Northwest to raise awareness and to celebrate survivors. All month, we want you to share your photos with us. Whether you are battling breast cancer yourself or celebrating someone who has beat it, remembering someone you lost, or just supporting the work being done to find a cure, share your together for a cure photos on kxly.com all month long and then one random entry will win an incredible spot package from the davenport courtesy of cancer care northwest all you have to do is share those pictures with us now through the end of the month on kxly.com yeah so do send them on in hey i like your pink fellas mm, thank yeah. you we all, went with a, we all went with a bright i know yeah. right bright yeah. pink. i'd iron this bad boy because i hadn't worn it in a long time <laughs> I probably should have, <laughs> <laughs> but, but the collar looked great. I said, we're good. All right, but um, yeah, I like I like it. And I don't have a pink tie, luckily, so I get tieless today. All right, let's talk about the things that are happening over here, get steered in the right direction. Um, low visibility in some areas of North Idaho with some patchy morning fog, so just be aware of that as you're heading out today. <clears throat> Everywhere else looks good. Uh, forecast for the day, blue sky, 78 degrees. Wind's going to be light. Uh, it's just going to be nice. I mean, a normal high this time of year is 66. So, yeah, well above average. 50 for the overnight low. So we start cool, but a normal overnight low is into the mid-40s. That's where Coeur d'Alene is right now at 46, Colville 43, Sandpoint 43, those cooler temperatures, that available moisture bringing it down, 52 into Spokane. Pullman, you're at 54 degrees. All right, so we do have this huge low that's sitting off the coast, and people might look at that and go, well, wait a minute, um, but high pressure dominates the Pacific Northwest and the west side, so we're going to see a high that's going to come up the coast and it's going to continue to steer this up into Canada. Well, as it does, we'll see maybe a little cloud cover from that, but we're not going to get any rain, nor are we going to see cooler uh, conditions because that high pressure is going to hang out. And again, as this rotates up, another high is going to come up that coast and keep us high and dry, and it's going to be dry all week long. 78 for our high today, Coeur d'Alene 78, Ritzville 81, 82 in Moses Lake, Tri-Cities 83, very consistent throughout the region, mid to upper 70s, North Idaho into the central panhandle, and and Lewiston at 84 degrees. We look at tomorrow, it's going to be 80. And that's what we're going to be seeing. 78 today, 80 Tuesday, Wednesday, 79, 78 Thursday, Friday, 78. Now, I'm not 
breezing over those other than to say it is going to be around 80 degrees each and every day this week, which is again 14 degrees above average. Overnight lows going to be around 50 and we're going to see some cloud cover from that low up in Canada. But that's going to be about it, and that's Wednesday, Thursday. All right, good morning, everyone. 619, time now for our Pet of the Week. We are so excited for you to meet Galilee. He is a six-year-old mix of Australian cattle, blue healer, and amazing personality. Galilee is sweet, gentle, house-trained, and loves to play ball and hang out with his people. Unfortunately, he has lived the last year of his life in shelters, waiting to find his forever home. So if you're looking for a canine companion to keep you company on long walks, which he loves to do, or just lay around the house, which I'm sure he would also love, you should meet Galilee. Visit our website at kootenyhumane.org for all the information on how to set up an appointment. You will immediately see his good disposition and adorable face. He does have an adorable face. He looks like a very good boy. <laughs> All right. Good morning, Northwest. Time is now 6.20. The Cougs used a big second half Saturday to bury Cal. What Cam Ward and one of his favorite targets have to say about getting the offense back on track. And speaking of offense back on track, Geno Smith and the Seahawks. The eye-popping numbers from a shootout with the Detroit Lions next in sports. Thanks for waking up with Good Morning Northwest on this Monday morning. See you in a bit. Download the 4 News Now app today. Danza Stavita, Dancing with Life, Mexican Masks Exhibition at the MAC. See a selection of over 50 traditional and contemporary dance masks with dance regalia and videos of the artists, dancers, and performances going on now. Since 1945, Sturm Heating and Air Conditioning has been serving Spokane and surrounding communities. A lot has changed since 1945, but one thing that hasn't is our mission to nurture long-term relationships with our customers by offering quality products, flat rate pricing, and industry-leading workmanship. And with our 24-7 service, we will get to you anytime, anywhere. Call for a quote today and see for yourself why Sturm is Spokane's first choice for heating and cooling. Or visit SturmHeating.com. Vote with confidence this November. In Washington, our layered cybersecurity systems, trained officials, and election audits make sure every vote is counted accurately. After you've received your ballot packet in the mail, fill it out and send it back in your signed return envelope. You can also put it in an official Dropbox or submit it in person. Visit votewa.gov to register, find voting locations, and check your ballot status. Can you guess this voice? It's me, Kelly. It is. It's Gwen Stefani. So how's it going at The Voice? Is it fun this season? It's I'm weird to be here talking to you. Like, I feel like I'm cheating on you. <laughs> Watch Kelly Tuesday at 4 and 4 News Now at 5. 4 News Now welcomes Kirsten O'Connor. You expect more from local news. Important information that makes a difference to you. Kirsten O'Connor delivers. And that's what we mean when we say expect more. Get to know Kirsten weeknights on 4 News Now. Thanks to Joe Biden, food, fuel, everything costs too much. His energy policies and massive spending spree are driving skyrocketing prices, fueling the worst inflation in decades. Two years ago, we were a self-sufficient, energy-independent, energy-exporting nation. Today, our energy production has been crippled. I'm Mike Crapo. I approve this message. Let's stop the spending free-for-all. Let loose American energy and fix inflation. Danza Stavita, Dancing with Life, Mexican Masks Exhibition at the MAC. See a selection of over 50 traditional and contemporary dance masks with dance regalia and videos of the artists, dancers, and performances going on now. In the Seattle Seahawks' first three games of the season, their offense was averaging less than 15 points a game. So in order to get the win on Sunday against the Lions, they need a lot more, and they certainly got that. And then some in their 48-45 to win in Detroit. The offense put up more than 550 yards on the day. As punter Michael Dixon wasn't even needed once in the game, quarterback Geno Smith has easily his best game on the season, throwing for more than 300 yards and accounting for three touchdowns. Rashad Penny also went for a career day with 150. 
150 rushing yards and a couple of scores to go along with that. With the win, the Seahawks get back to 500 on the season. As they will be down in New Orleans for a matchup with the Saints next Sunday. And the Washington State Cougars also got a huge bounce back win on Saturday afternoon, beating Cal 28 to 9. The offense of Wazoo exploding in the second half as they were able to pull away from the Golden Bears late in the game. Quarterback Cam Ward was able to spread the field much more than in previous games, connecting with 10 different receivers, and he's starting to feel a lot more comfortable with his core. Just not getting complacent. I feel like we got complacent last week in that time of the game. Uh, you know, it's a learning experience for all of us. Uh, you know, we went through that. Uh, you know, we don't want to have that feeling again, especially at home. So I feel like we came up with a big uh, big W today. We know once we establish a deep threat game, then, you know, it opens up a lot of things. It opens up everything else, especially the run game, um, because now that they're focused on uh, getting beat deep, now we can pound the ball through their face. And so that's that was a, a big emphasis this week. Cougs will have a massive test this coming weekend as the team travels down to Los Angeles to take on the sixth-ranked USC Trojans. Washington State hasn't won this matchup since 2017. It is a beautiful sight in Albuquerque as hot air balloons fill the sky. The annual Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta kicked off Saturday. Oh, look at that one. That's awesome. Uh, for the last five decades, the first week of October is a chance for everybody to enjoy the start of fall. Hundreds of balloons take flight from the Balloon Fiesta Park, and this event runs until next weekend, the 8th of October, or this coming weekend, I guess. I was trying to think of a good Yoda-ism on the fly, and I, I couldn't <laughs> do it. I'll, do I'll think pressure. of something during the break. Good morning, Northwest. Time is now almost 626. Esther Bauer is live at the Spokane International Airport this morning with a very special event for veterans. Well, almost 100 veterans are getting ready for this big flight. Coming up after the break, we're going to hear from a veteran who turns 102 this week. He can't wait to head to Washington, D.C. In this morning's GMA First Look, a first look inside the new bombshell book. Maggie Haberman, the New York Times senior political reporter, has written a biography of Donald Trump, Confidence Man, which dives deep into the inner workings of the Trump administration and what motivated him during his four years in office. Haberman has been covering Donald Trump for the better part of two decades as a journalist in New York City long before his presidency. For her latest book, Haberman interviewed hundreds of sources as well as the former president himself. Haberman writes that during Trump's time in the White House, he once floated the idea of firing his daughter Ivanka and son-in-law Jared Kushner, who served as White House advisors, in a tweet before his then-chief of staff John Kelly stopped him. And coming up at 7 a.m., Maggie Haberman joins us live for the first live interview on her book. With your GMA First Look, I'm Terry Moran, ABC News. This is how it feels to do more with less asthma, thanks to Dupixent. Dupixent is not for sudden breathing problems. It's an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma and can help improve lung function for better breathing in as little as two weeks. Dupixent helps prevent asthma attacks and can even reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Imagine that. Dupixent can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Get help right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about new or worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Who knows what you can do when you do more with less asthma? Ask your asthma specialist about Dupixent. Stream 4 News now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Save, save, save your green at Jennifer's Auto Sales and Service. Granite Concepts. We doubled our size. Doubled our weekly output. Created even higher fabrication quality. Shortened the time to completion. Granite Concepts. Beauty set in stone. Here at the Mead School District, energy management, it's been something that's been on the rise as far as what's important to us. 
The reason why is as the budget continues to shrink, we need to do more with less. Yeah, I love Avista. They've been really great to work with. When I have energy efficiency ideas, I get in touch with my rep. They'll go back to their project managers and to the engineers. Avista does a really great job of telling you what the simple payback will be of any of the projects, and then you can make an educated decision on whether you want to move forward. Why wait weeks or even months for installation of new flooring when you can come to Carpet Barn? They can install very quickly. Your installers are excellent. They were in in one day. They were so courteous and so fantastic. The rate in which they can install is phenomenal. Price point, selection, professional service. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend coming to Carpet Barn. Highly recommend it. Carpet Barn, designer selection, warehouse prices. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. The 4 News Now story tracker with some of the stories people are talking about this morning. And Terry Bradshaw's name is trending this morning after the TV analyst and former Steelers quarterback shared he's been privately battling cancer and has beaten it twice in the past year. Bradshaw broke the news to the Fox NFL Sunday pregame audience saying he's now cancer free following a bout with bladder cancer in November and a skin cancer diagnosis in March. United Airlines is suspending service at New York's JFK Airport saying its schedule there is too small to remain competitive. In a note shared with CNN Business, the airline said the start of the winter season when more airlines resume flying to and from JFK contributed to its difficult decision. And speaking of flights, new on Good Morning Northwest, local veterans will soon be on a flight to Washington, D.C. It's a way to thank them for their service to our country. Inland Northwest Honor Flight sponsors these special free trips for veterans. And Esther Bowers live at the airport now. They're getting ready to take off here in a bit. Very soon, and right now I'm joined with a very special family. So we have Harold, Terry, and Sean. We have some amazing veterans that are going to be taking this flight. So good morning to you guys. Tell us when you guys um, served. Yeah, I was in Vietnam in 1968. 1968, awesome. Mm -hmm. And what? When Where did you, you serve, sir? Oh, in the United States and in the Philippines. In, in the Philippines. Awesome. So how are you feeling about this big flight? Well, I was really excited about it uh, when I got the call several months ago. And uh, they said that I was on the flight, and I reminded them. I told them that I had filled out an application for my dad, too. And I said, he's a World War II veteran, and he'll be 102 that week. And they said, he will be going. <laughs> right, right. And, and now you... They now you both get to go. Right. So uh, we were contacted, and he said, my dad can go too. And then she said, would you like your son to go with you also? And I said, that would be great, all three of us, yeah. It's a family affair. Sean is the grandson, is with them today. And this is a big, exciting week. 102, Harold. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Well, this is a great way to kick off the birthday week. These, this is just one family that's headed here on the honor flight. It's taking off here very soon. Thank you for spending this morning with us. Thank you for serving. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. We are so happy to be here today with this amazing flight. And we're going to continue to give you a live look as we lead up to take off. Reporting live from the International Airport, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now. A hundred and two. Man, I happy love birthday. That all three of them get to go together and yeah. experience it. Fabulous. Hey, here's Mark with our first alert forecast. All right. Uh, for those flying to DC, it's going to be rain tonight and a 70% chance of showers tomorrow and a high of 52. So it's going to be cool, but hopefully just cloudy while they're doing their thing throughout the day tomorrow. It's going to be a jam packed day. For us, we're starting off at 52 degrees. That's going to be the high in DC tomorrow. Um, we're going to to see again the clear skies the sunshine going to be absolutely beautiful uh, barbecuing weather cooking outdoors going to be perfect this week I, into the first week of october going to be sunny and warm midnight uh, or a uh, mild nighttime coming in including midnight as we look at the four things you need to know very dry we're going to talk more about that coming up and a sunny and mild weekend ahead we look at the current conditions we're sitting at 50 into the valley 51 liberty lake 46 uh, nine mile Mead was at 39 degrees, as is Deer Park. So there are some cool temperatures out there. 
Highs today are going to be very mild. Temperatures in the upper 70s for Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, St. Mary's, up into Sandpoint, 75, Colville, 79 degrees. And we look at the sky, few high thin clouds, going to be temperatures into the mid 60s as we get into the noon hour. In fact, at noon, we should be around 72 degrees. That high today is 78. This morning, President Biden will survey hurricane damage in Puerto Rico, then he'll go to Florida. Both the president and the first lady will meet with officials and locals after hurricanes battered both regions within a 10-day span. Sydney Charles is live with the now desk of what we know about the president's visit. That's right, Derek. Today, the president and first lady, Jill Biden, will visit Puerto Rico. Then they'll head to Florida on Wednesday. The White House announced Biden's travel plans on Saturday after he made clear his intentions to visit both destinations. The island of Puerto Rico sustained extensive damage to its critical infrastructure from Hurricane Fiona. Puerto Rico had barely recovered from the devastating impact of Hurricane Maria in 2017. During his visit today, Biden is planning to announce $60 million in storm preparedness funding in Puerto Rico. Next, Biden plans to travel to Florida on Wednesday to survey the wreckage of Hurricane Ian. Many believe Ian was the largest natural disaster in the state's history. According to the president, that includes comprehensive federal assistance with search and rescue, recovery and rebuild. And it will take months, if not years, for these hard-hit communities to rebuild. We'll need to take care of their emotional and mental health uh, because we're really going to need to work together on this. Estimated losses from Ian's wind and storm surges are between 28 billion and 47 billion U.S. dollars. That's according to Core Logic, a U.S. research firm that estimates losses from natural disasters. But flooding is still expected to continue across portions of Central Florida, causing more destruction, property loss, and posing a further challenge to cleanup efforts and rescues. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, for News Now. In Mexico, the focus is turning to a new hurricane. Hurricane Orlean is poised to strike Mexico today, bringing heavy rain and the potential for severe flooding to popular resort areas along the west coast. The Category 2 storm currently has maximum sustained winds of 105 miles per hour with higher gusts after peaking as a Category 4 yesterday afternoon. According to Hurricane Center projections, Orlean is projected to reach the mainland this afternoon before weakening rapidly. A state trooper shot in Walla Walla a few weeks ago is finally back home this morning. Trooper Dean Atkinson Jr. was shot in the face and hand and rammed by a car. Atkinson was somehow able to drive himself to a nearby hospital. He was then airlifted to Harborview Medical Center in Seattle. Atkinson received a hero's welcome when he returned to Walla Walla yesterday. His road to recovery will now continue with his family, friends, and colleagues by his side. Today marks the first day of the new term of the U.S. Supreme Court featuring the first black woman on the bench. Topping the docket is an affirmative action case involving minority admissions programs at Harvard and the University of North Carolina. Before her death, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg said she thought the issue had been permanently settled. But like Roe versus Wade, the new conservative-leaning justices appointed by former President Trump may be ready to break precedent again. In fact, court observers wonder whether more than 40 years of affirmative action precedents could be at risk. During the new term, the Supreme Court is also expected to take up major disputes on voting rights, free speech, and gay rights. All right, good morning, Northwest time is now 6.37. Mark is back talking about a beautiful day ahead and Oh, our air quality is dipped, huh? A little bit of haze. Now, we were in the high side of good. Well, it's now uh, just sort of peaked itself into hmm. moderate, and it should stay within moderate easily today. We do have less smoke in the air than we've had in previous weeks, but uh, just be on the lookout for that. Your full forecast still to come. And we will show you Spain's amazing human towers competition. How tall the winning competitors climbed when Good Morning Northwest continues. More news now on your time with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Happy Take and Bake Tuesday. Every Tuesday at Papa Murphy's, you can get any large pizza for just $12, which makes Tuesday the best day to bring home all your favorites. We might have too many favorites. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. It's time. Time to set your eyes free. Free from limitations in your vision. Free from glasses and contacts. Free to see your best and be your best. It's time to smile. Smile is state-of-the-art laser vision correction, or LVC for short. Smile is easy on the eyes. It's bladeless, flapless, and effortless. Contact Empire Eye Physicians today to learn more about Smile, the new alternative to Lasix. Some people say the metaverse will only be virtual. 
But one day, this farmer will use augmented reality to help ensure the best yield. Urban planners will model traffic solutions to help decrease commute times. Exploring a spacecraft in a museum is one thing. But one day, the metaverse will help students learn about the rings of Saturn. The metaverse may be virtual, but the impact will be real. Thanks to Joe Biden, food, fuel, everything costs too much. His energy policies and massive spending spree are driving skyrocketing prices, fueling the worst inflation in decades. Two years ago, we were a self-sufficient, energy-independent, energy-exporting nation. Today, our energy production has been crippled. I'm Mike Crapo. I approve this message. Let's stop the spending free-for-all. Let loose American energy and fix inflation. Get durable fire and theft protection for your home with American Securities UL Burglary Rated and ETL Certified Fire Rated BFS Safe Series. ESL 10, our highest grade consumer electronic lock. Confidently store all your valuables with the most trusted name in the business. Providing peace of mind by protecting people's most valuable possessions. Available at Safe and Vault Store in the Spokane Valley. No one goes all in on made from scratch freshness like Papa Murphy's. Because when you go all in, people notice. Go all in with the triple pet pizza for just $11.99. Papa Murphy's. Change the way you pizza. Welcome back. At least 127 people are dead after chaos and violence erupted during a soccer match in Malang, Indonesia, in what's being called one of the world's deadliest stadium disasters of all time. Local police say fans of the losing team went onto the field, triggering the fan crush. Videos posted to social media show fans storming the field and clashing with police who appear to be wearing riot gear. Later in the video, smoke can be seen alongside people being carried into a building. The condition of the people shown in the video is unclear. More than 300 other people were injured. An American citizen held in Iran for more than six years has been released to seek medical treatment, according to the United Nations. 85-year-old Bakir Namazi was released from detention along with his son, Samak. The elder Namazi had been facing health problems, which worsened over the course of his several years in confinement. Progress on U.S. efforts to free the Namazis, as well as two other wrongfully detained Americans, has been called frustratingly slow. Well, Nike says it has too much inventory in big markets like China and the U.S. The athletic apparel company announced a drop in revenue in China in the August quarter, falling by about 16 percent. Nike said COVID lockdowns in China are likely to blame. Ten second takeaway on a Monday morning. It's going to be a cool start. We're there. Low 50s. Uh, light layers needed as you head out. Sunglasses later on. It's going to be a sunny day today. Very mild. Our high today, 78. Take a look at this. It is the Human Towers competition in Spain. It's really something. Thousands of people watched as teams competed to construct the highest and most com complicated tower by standing on each other's shoulders. The winning team from Villafranca beat 40 other groups to take home the 16,000 euro prize. That's more than 15,000 US dollars. The youngest team members are an essential part of the squad. Check them out, the little kids. They are scrambling up the backs and shoulders of their teammates to get to the top. There they are, the little ones. Um, the winning team climbed 43 feet high. I mean, so that's at least, that's got to be at least. Four stories, yeah? Ish? Yeah, but I right mean around. like in human stories, oh like seven, right? That's crazy. Pretty nuts. All right. Good morning, Northwest time is almost 643 now. Stick around with us. We're back with another look at your weather coming up and all kinds of other stuff. We'll be right back. Download the 4 News Now app today. lot of ways to deal with a stubborn drain. Call us at Mainstream Plumbing. Our high definition LED camera can go where no plumber has gone before. Deep inside your sewer lines to find the root of the problem. Call 866-411-ZAP. Looking for quality and experience? Coeur d'Alene Denture Clinic has been providing personalized care to their clients for over 30 years. Full dentures, implant attachments, repairs, fittings, adjustments, they do it all. With competitive costs and quality service, you'll leave Coeur d'Alene Denture Clinic smiling. 
Browning Pro Steel safes offer industry-leading storage solutions with fully adjustable shelving, high-capacity barrel racks, and patented door storage. Your adventure begins and ends with Browning Pro Steel safes. Available at Safe and Vault Store in the Spokane Valley. It's time for 4 News Now, Coats for Kids. Just drop off new or gently used coats at any of our sponsor locations. We'll bring them to Allsco for professional cleaning, then get them out to local children in need. Donate to Coats for Kids through October 31st. Hello, I'm Denver Toon. Jewelry Design Center is very proud and excited to partner with 4 News Now's Coats for Kids this fall. So stop by the store, help your community, and donate to those in need. You can also get your free jewelry cleaning and inspection while you're here. Farming has always been a part of the Inland Northwest. The Washington Association of Wheat Growers is proud to bring you a tribute for our farmers. Washington farmers provide wholesome, nutritious products, including the wheat we enjoy in cakes, cookies, crackers, bread, and noodles. A functional and efficient transportation infrastructure by way of river, rail, and highway is critical to our agriculture industry and to meet the demand for food products. Let's keep Washington moving. A tribute for our great Inland Northwest farmers. Brought to you by the Washington Association of Wheat Growers. Four News Now is brought to you by Cancer Care Northwest. It is now quarter till seven. Here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. Sasheen Littlefeather, the Native American actress and activist who made history when she declined the Best Actor Oscar on behalf of Marlon Brando, has died. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences announced her death this morning. In August, the Academy formally apologized to Littlefeather for the mistreatment she experienced during her speech and in the years that followed. Last month, the Academy hosted an event at its film museum in Los Angeles that featured Littlefeather as a keynote speaker alongside other indigenous performers. She was 75 years old. Oil production could be cut by the largest margin since the pandemic. OPEC Plus is set to decide this week on whether to slash production by, the, by more than a million barrels a day, a move which could help prop up the price of oil. Oil prices have been falling in recent weeks, down 23% from their height so far this quarter. But it hasn't slowed the rise in gas prices. According to AAA, gas is nearly 30 cents a gallon more expensive in Spokane County than it was just a month ago. All right, here's a somewhat odd musical pairing, at least in terms of height, Maroon 5 and Shaquille O'Neal. It was the finale of a star-studded celebrity gala for the Shaquille O'Neal Foundation in Las Vegas, which raised more than $3.2 million for the Boys and Girls Club and communities in schools in both Vegas and Atlanta. And here is a live look this morning. And Mark was just talking about a little bit of haze out there. You, you can see it now that the sun is up. And that's why our uh, air quality is now into the moderate category. Just into the moderate. Yeah, we're going to see that throughout the day. We just have enough, and it's right over us. And there's no wind, so it's going to hang mm. out. Hey, want to touch on, again, we've got an honor flight that's taking off from uh, Spokane here at 9 o'clock. And we've been covering that this morning. Let's take a look at what they're expecting. And it is going to be wet weather. They've got a 70% chance of rain tomorrow. It could be an overnight deal with cloudy and cool conditions during the day. The highs are going to be 52 for Washington, D.C. For us, our highs are going to be 78 as we look at our first alert forecast. Going to be sunny and warm. Winds are going to be light. Yeah, not seeing a lot of air movement. 50 for the overnight low. Going to be mostly clear and very mild. Current conditions. Uh, we take a look. 41 into Colville, 52 into Spokane, 48 St. Mary's. Sand Point at 43 with, again, some visibility issues. Could be some dense fog. The western satellite and radar. Well, we do have a system off into the Pacific, but that is going to continue to head north and east, but it will head further north out of our region. What it will give us is some cloud cover coming in on Wednesday, Thursday. You can see uh, the Pacific Northwest all the way down northern California, even onto the west coast. 
high and dry. High pressure dominates. We don't see a lot of change there, even as this high continues to move out. Another one comes in from the south to replace that, and that's going to drive that system up into Canada, and we're going to continue to keep high and dry and warmer than average as we go into not only the middle of the week, but the end of, uh, or the weekend. So 78 today, 84 Grand Coulee, Omak at 83, Pullman sunny and 77 degrees, Coeur d'Alene sunny and 78 for those who still have their boats in the lake. Uh, you might be very popular. Tomorrow, still 78 for Coeur d'Alene. We're going to be at 80, Colville 80 as well. You get a little cooler when you get into Montana, but look at Missoula, 75 degrees if you're heading that way tomorrow. So our planning forecast, we're planning on temperatures, uh, again, they are going to be well above average, very consistent. Don't see any major changes through the week with upper 70s and bouncing around 80 degrees. The weekend, a touch cooler and still 10 degrees above average. Saturday and Sunday with mid-70s expected. Overnight lows of around 50 degrees. Loveland, Colorado has had some snow. Oh boy. Uh, saw that. Uh, we see snow into the mountains of Montana. Here, it's sunshine. Yes. Yeah. And uh, notice no rain in that forecast It at is going to be dry not only this week, but it looks like much of next week. Oh, boy. Okay. Mark, thanks. It's now just about 10 minutes before the hour. Your morning sprint's coming up next. Thank you so much for waking up with Good Morning Northwest here on your Monday morning. We'll be right back. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Cancer Care Northwest. Considering selling your RV, R&R wants it. Tired of paying storage fees? R&R needs it. Just don't use it anymore? R&R will buy it. Due to a critical shortage of pre-owned RVs, R&R RV is currently paying absolute top dollar for your used RV. Any year, any make, any model, turn your RV into cash or flip it for a newer model. So if you no longer use it or want it, let R&R RV buy it. Visit the R&R RV Superstore in Liberty Lake or call Keith at 509-499-2601. Flowers are fighters. That's why the Alzheimer's Association Walk to End Alzheimer's is full of them. Because flowers find a way to break through. Just like we will. Join the fight at alz.org slash walk. Watch 4 News Now as the Extreme Team upgrades the Carl Maxi Center. What we're going to do is go in and get into the next phase of operation. That's going to be a new library. There's going to be a place in back. There's going to be a nice patio. Watch 4 News Now's Extreme Team, sponsored by Horizon Credit Union. Experience the coolest new adventure with your family and all your Disney friends at Disney on Ice Road Trip Adventures. Playing Spokane Arena October 21st through 23rd. On sale now. For event details, visit DisneyOnIce.com. With more and more people working from home and not being active or moving as much as they used to, it's now more important than ever to break the habit and get back to the gym for a healthier, better you. Time to get it over. Working out should be a daily routine, and Move Fitness wants to help you create new habits by keeping you motivated with our friendly, award-winning staff. And you can get it all for around a dollar a day. So what are you waiting for? Join the savings continue at Bymart with our latest savings book, Out Now. There's 16 pages packed full of store-wide savings, including Halloween candy, pantry essentials, pet supplies, electronics, and more. Plus, don't forget to see if you're a winner on Lucky Number Tuesday. The savings continue with our latest savings book and Lucky Number Tuesday, only at Bymart, where your membership matters. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Just about 6.53. Let's get you ready for your Monday here on the Morning Sprint. Sydney Charles with the latest on the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. Esther Bauer live at Spokane International Airport for a very special flight this morning. But first... Our first week of October will feel more like summer. Let's hear from Mark Peterson. All right, good morning, everybody. So in our first alert weather and that first alert forecast, uh, it is going to be a sunny day. Now we start off on the cool side, 
Spokane Valley 50, Liberty Lake 50, we're at 50 degrees, 39 into Deer Park and Mead. When we look at our highs today, we're going to be in the upper 70s around the region, North Idaho, mid 70s, but still well above average. And our day today is mostly sunny conditions. By noon, we're going to be in the low 70s. Again, our high today, 78 degrees. Breaking news this morning, two people died yesterday afternoon in a motorcycle crash on State Highway 41 in Bonner County. It happened around 4 o'clock near Blanchard. The rider, a 66-year-old man from Worley, went off the road and into a tree line, killing himself and his passenger, a 63-year-old Worley woman. The names of the victims have not been released yet. The Thor Freya construction project has gone on longer than expected. The seven-phase project with 37 different traffic plans has been a challenge for the last six months. The city says the first half of the project took longer than expected due to the rainy spring. They say it's also a longer project in general because crews are using complex materials that take longer and just depend on the weather. Spokane County deputies arrested a man who they say shot at someone involved in a disagreement over a parking spot. It happened at this Spokane Valley apartment complex lot. The victim told deputies he came home to find a bunch of stuff in his parking spot, so he moved the stuff over and parked. That's when he says a man yelled at him and then brought out a rifle and began shooting toward him. Nobody was hurt. The victim did not press charges. And this morning, the number of people killed by Hurricane Ian is rising. Florida says it's making progress, conducting thousands of evacuations and restoring power back to millions. So far, at least 85 people in Florida and North Carolina were killed. Florida's Lee County has the highest number of people killed. Ian is the deadliest in the satellite era for Florida, and over 600,000 people are still without power right now. And President Biden is scheduled to visit both Puerto Rico and Florida this week to survey storm damage after hurricanes battered both regions within a 10-day time span. Two people are facing drug charges after a series of search warrants conducted by police in Sandpoint. Police say Daryl David and of Bonners Ferry and Rachel Straley of Spokane were both arrested, cited, and then released for meth and drug possession. Police say the raid was in response to two fentanyl overdoses in North Idaho involving a teenager who recovered and a 21-year-old who died. This is a look at some of what police see. You're looking at what are known as blues, sometimes referred to as skittles. Both are suspected of being forms of fentanyl. The state trooper shot in Walla Walla a few weeks ago is finally back home this morning. Trooper Dean Atkinson Jr. was shot in the face and hand and rammed by a car. Atkinson was able to drive himself to a nearby hospital. He was then airlifted to Harborview Medical Center in Seattle. He received a hero's welcome when he returned to Walla Walla yesterday. Well, you can now use your phone to get on the bus using Spokane Transit's new connected fare system. Here's how it works. You create an account on the STA Connect app where you'll have access to eConnect cards that you can load up with money using a credit or debit card. STA is also expanding its reduced and zero fare options. Anyone 60 or older and people with disabilities get a 50% discount. I'm live at the Spokane International Airport this morning where almost 100 veterans are getting ready for the flight of a lifetime. The welcome ceremony for this honor flight is just now getting underway. We know that two World War II veterans, seven Korean War vets, and 90 Vietnam War veterans will be on this flight totally free. Our veterans do not pay a dime to take this flight. They're going to be heading to Washington, D.C. to see war memorials. For many, they say this is the first time they'll be seeing them. We'll continue to keep you updated as the honor flight takes off. Reporting live from the Spokane International Airport, Esther Bauer, 4 News. Now. Food stamp benefits will go up by more than 12% because of inflation. For a family of four, that's about an additional $104 each month. Nearly 41 million Americans count on food stamps to help buy groceries every month. And those higher prices you see at the grocery store won't be coming down anytime soon. Food producers say the surge is a result of paying higher prices for labor and packaging materials and also point to extreme weather, disease, and supply issues. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and today we are partnering with Cancer Care Northwest to raise awareness, to honor those who lost their fight, and to celebrate survivors. All month, we want you to share your pictures with us. You can share your Together for a Cure photos on KXLY.com, and one random entry will win an incredible spot package from the Davenport, courtesy of Cancer Care Northwest. We'll check in with Mark's forecast again coming up right after this break. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. 
I met Anidas 10 years ago. He didn't have bad credit, but he just had no credit to begin with. I took the time to really go over some options with him. Fast forward 10 years down the road, he's got his business account with Numerica. I mean, he's looking to buy a second home also with Numerica. There's a new face in local news. Kirsten O'Connor joins Aaron Luna and Chris Crocker. Weeknights on 4 News Now. Committed to our community. Invested in you and your family's safety. Get to know Kirsten O'Connor. Weeknights on 4 News Now. Sometimes you're so busy taking care of everyone else, you don't do enough for yourself or your mouth. But eventually it will remind you. When it does, Aspen Dental is here for you. We offer the custom dental treatments you need all under one roof right nearby so we can bring more life to your smile and more smile to your life affordably. New patients without insurance can get a free complete exam and x-rays and 20% off treatment plans. Aspen Dental, anything to make you smile. Schedule your appointment today. Well, coming up next on Good Morning America, the search for survivors after Hurricane Ian. This morning, questions are growing about whether evacuation orders came too late. All right, good morning. A live look at uh, what could be a bit of a hazy start with air quality into the moderate. Our forecast for the day is going to be sunshine. Again, a few morning clouds. That's it. 72 at noon. Our high today is going to be 78 degrees. And uh, we're going to see a continuation of temperatures around 80, not only today, not only tomorrow, but all the way through the end of the week. The weekend is still looking good and dry all week. It really is something. Yeah. Shocking. Hard to believe here in early October. All right, that'll do it for us for now. Back in about 30 minutes, GMA is next.